Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the Sean O'Connor YouTube channel. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to drastically improve the look of your 2021 and newer F-150 by adding these rear wheel liners. So I have the Husky brand, so I'll show you guys how to install these. As far as the tools that you'll need, this is literally all you will need to do this install a 10 millimeter socket and whatever size ratchet you need for that so i'm using a quarter inch you can use a three eighths uh yeah everybody should have one of these if you have uh, a truck like this you better have a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet if not turn in the man car guys so um it's a pretty simple install here is what the wheel liner looks like so it's pretty simple i like the husky ones because as you can see they are hard plastic and they are easy to like wash and keep them looking good on the truck. There you get some mud and stuff up in there. Um, and this does end up like, you know, protecting your truck and whatnot, I guess, cause um, it's just exposed here. This is just the paint from the bed. Super easy to install, let's get. All right, the first thing you wanna do, so this is the back of the truck. You wanna poke your head in here, take a look at this bolt right here. This is that 10 millimeter that you'll be removing. So just go ahead and loosen that bad boy oh spin it around loosen that and take that off um nothing's gonna fall when you take this off all right so once you have that out this panel is still gonna stay where it goes just take out this you will re reuse this bolt and check out the hardware that the fender liner came with so i'll show you a couple things that we'll be needing to use so as you can see, this is the hardware that comes with it. Um, you'll have double of this because you'll have to do the other side. You're gonna have these clips right here. You're gonna have two of these, which how you uh, end up in installing these, this is the first step is you wanna take this and notice there's a hole here and a hole over here. You wanna take it, orient, you see the, the nipple side, put that towards the back and just slide this up like this and do the exact same thing for that hole right there with this other clip. All right, so once you have both of those clips in there, you wanna take your fender liner and insert it. I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so for the fender liners, they are labeled passenger side and driver side. So you see this one has PS, it's passenger side. So you just wanna take this um, and you wanna take this bottom portion right here and kind of like insert it behind the tire. I'll show you what it'll look like. So you'll wanna take that portion and just kind of insert it uh, around the tire and then get it to where you can basically push it up like this. And then you'll wanna basically pick this up on both sides and kind of press this outer piece up under um, the fender all the way around. So like I said, just kind of pick it up and then you're gonna to start to push this piece up into the fender as you go all the way around make sure that it's tucked up under the fender and to make sure that this thing is lined up you have two holes that are um you're gonna line those holes up with the little clips that you just installed and then you want to install the bolts that came with the kit um so just make sure you line those up so this one is lined up right here Go ahead and get that one started. Before you tighten that one down, I would go ahead and line up the other one to make sure everything lines up well, and then insert the bolt and do that. I'm gonna do it by setting the camera down. All right, then remember that bolt that you removed before you put the liner in there, you're going to wanna put it back where it came from, line it up, and then once all three of these are lined up, go ahead and tighten these down with that 10 millimeter socket. All right, after you have tightened up those three 10 millimeters, so you got one there, one there, and then one here, you wanna take this and the rubber washer, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and you're gonna insert towards the back over here. There's a, there's a hole right here. Let's see if I can get that down there. Line this hole up with the hole on the, on the truck and you want to push this portion through. Um, it's not going to tighten any when you push that through. What you want to do is you want to take the rubber washer, go on the other side, and then push this to tighten it up. 
All right, now we got the fender liner all installed. As you can see on the front, it comes with fender liners from the factory, even on the base model truck. So it looks nice in the front and it's nice to have the back actually match the front now. So it'll be a much cleaner look. Surprising, like you don't really think about it, but man, it makes it look so much nicer. I don't know why it makes such a huge difference, but it looks way better to me. Let me know what you guys think. Here's a little before and here's an after. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Sean O'Connor YouTube channel.